Fox Undercover broke the story. An autistic teenager restrained and shocked for hours at the Judge Rotenberg Center. It is now the subject of a civil lawsuit unfolding in Norfolk Superior Court. We've been covering covering it for you every day. Well, video of the incident is now getting attention across the globe, and now our own governor is weighing in. Our investigative reporter Mike Baudet talked with Governor Deval Patrick this afternoon. So, Mike, what does the governor have to say about these shocks? Maria, Governor Patrick says he's uncomfortable with the shock treatments that are used at the Judge Rotenberg Center in Canton, and he's telling us now that he would likely support a bill to ban the shock treatments altogether. This type of treatment is making a lot of people uncomfortable after watching this video. It shows Andre McCollins restrained and shocked for hours at the Rotenberg Center in 2002. The video first coming to light last week during a civil suit against the center filed by the autistic teenager and his mother who say it's torture. Senate President Therese Murray has already come out in favor of banning the shocks and has the support of the Senate, but not the House, where Speaker Robert DeLeo voiced concern about the video, but stopped short of calling for a ban. The Patrick administration put regulations in place last year that banned the use of aversive therapies, including the shocks, for any students who are not already receiving them. But the Rotenberg Center is planning to challenge those regulations in court if the state tries to prevent any student from receiving the shocks, which is why a new law that bans the shocks may be the only way to stop them from happening. Are those shocks treatment or torture? Well, I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm uncomfortable with the idea of electric shock treatment. That's why we put in the ban we did for new uh, patients at the, at the center. We have some constraints about what we can do with uh, patients who are there already because of existing court orders. Um, and I have to acknowledge there's a, there's a medical view on the other side of this. But as a, I mean, just as a person, it just feels um, it's something I'm uncomfortable with. Should they be banned outright? Well, I, you know, as I say, there's a medical view on the other side of, uh, uh, of that question. If that bill were to get to me, I'd be inclined to sign it. I want to make sure it was thoughtful um, and that the opposing views have been considered. The Rotenberg Center continues to defend the use of the shocks, insisting they are an appropriate form of treatment and only used after a court approves them. Maria? So the trial's still happening, right, Mike? It is still happening. The Rotenberg Center continuing to defend its treatment of Andre McCollins, today playing long segments of video from that day showing staff members checking on his restraints, offering him a drink, and even trying to take him to the bathroom. But that effort ended with another shock because as one of the defendants testified today, McCollins put up resistance when they tried to take him off a restraint board. So instead of a trip to the bathroom, McCollins was shocked again, restrained, and had a diaper put on him. The defense will continue to make its case Thursday in a trial that's now expected to last into next week. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.